on in if you're ready and we'll kind of just We're ready. go through a few things today. Yeah. But I'll see Dave Monday at 8.15. You will need restroom, water, anything before we start? Coffee. Coffee? Do I make some coffee? Would you? I wouldn't mind. I could use a little coffee. I'm not the best coffee maker in the world, but let me go start a little pot and then we'll work. Fantastic. I'm going to go make a little coffee. There's a muck in the mire. These are my literal shit kicking groups. Yeah. There you go. I always thought that was a metaphorical expression, but as it turns out, it's no. <laughs> yeah. You're a little shit kicker. Okay. Do we even have some burnt oatmeal cookies? We tried this morning, but I actually did some of the I've met you before. You were running outside one day. Yeah. Yeah. I, forget, I, I forget I forget your name. Well that's Max. Max. <laughs> Hello, Max. So what I thought we'd do today, we have these uh, uh, first wisdom cards that are kind of fun. Well we have a little coffee. And then um, based on time I wanted to go out and and we have set up some pylons and some things on the south, like any wind and things like that, and comfort. Um, I thought you might want to pick uh, uh, two horses, and we'll let both horses into that area. And then one at a time, we're going to halter and work on our emotions and connection and communication. Sounds good. And see how that goes as you go for a walk. And it will be leading out of the walk, a stop, and a backup. You want to try that on a couple different horses. And then, of course, set your world out there because there's cones and pylons and barrels. You can cut across the arena with your horse, you can go around the barrels, in and out of the cones, you know, just have fun and work on coming back to that in the present, soft eye, uh, you know, we talked about the soft eye, like the horse right. where you're seeing everything around, because we can't help it by being predators and being humans with that eye right in the front, right. so we're always focusing. It's nice sometimes there's a relaxation as we're with the horses, because to me it's about the relationship and about relaxation. Uh -huh about de-stressing and sort of the power of those horses. And do we ever, do we talk about the magnemometer and the horse no. energy fields? Uh, a little bit, uh, a bit. Florian mentioned that uh, the uh, horse's heart gives, uh, heart gives out a signal that uh, is several feet away. Uh, yeah. Ours and the Magnamari main measures the, the energy field around the heart. Ours radiates out and the circumference about 8 to 10 feet. So I'm picking up here, you're picking up on mm -hmm. it. So it's out there pretty how, good. How many times? Five, Five times. times. So we're from 40 to 50, 50 feet. feet. Wow. It radiates out. Yeah. So that's something to be said for that. And maybe why horses are very valuable and people are picking up things like autism and mm -hmm. uh, certain disabilities and you're on that horse and feel that connection with your heart, that heart. Mm -hmm. and we don't know. We don't really know for sure, but we know there's, there's certainly uh, things in our world that are greater than just our mind and that connection. You bet. There's love, there's connection. And that's what we focus on here with the horses, having those good moments to connect and, and be being together in the universe. Okay, so this is the one that I chose for yeah. today. Yeah. Which the, I mean, there's no right or wrong, but the artist in Libacono, they call this card the Keeper of Mysteries. Mm -hmm. Initiation, intelligence in nature, borderland personality. And if you look closely, you see that a dog and a dolphin leap from the hands of the mare-headed goddess, a figure so ancient and mysterious she was almost lost to history. And the name of the mare-headed goddess in, in the Celtic tradition is Epona. Epona? Yeah. The gift. So one of the meanings of this card is the meter meets you in the cave of initiation, holding the promise of peace, prophecy, expanded consciousness and a deeper, more soulful relationship with nature. And the challenge is past traumas must be faced to reclaim power that was taken from you. Yeah. Now I see Leah also picked the card. I saw that too, so I looked at the 
what, what do you see in that one? Like, well, we can just describe what the image is. Or? It looks a bit, well, fog and weariness and wind, perhaps. Yeah. And that card, and again, this is just another opinion, but it's called depression or genius stagnation, stop sign of the soul, workhorse mentality. A loyal old draft horse pulls his heavy load through a relentless gray fog. The gift? Depression signals that the path you're taking doesn't coincide with your life's purpose. Look for a new direction that gives you energy and you'll get back on course. Challenge? It's difficult to change old patterns, particularly if they're supposed to be, if they're supported by social conditioning and family expectations. Resist the pressure to become a workhorse for others' mundane ambitions. Yeah, these cards are always so powerful. Did you get a close up of Leah's card? I thought the color was on that one. Wonderful dog, I can tell. <laughs> Loving dog and so calm. Mister De Los Ninos in uh, Los Lunas, and Isabella certified also. Like I am, she was at one of the training conferences, and before she left, she got reassigned. She was a sister and got reassigned to Ohio, I believe it was, and she brought me this big car. Oh poster with that on there, but she never saw these cars. She really? Didn't know that she I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. I thought, oh, that's just too, too much of a connection in the universe, you know. And it says something on it like, God grant that I sh should never go to any heaven where there are no horses. Right. How she was angry? And yeah, she was a very, very angry horse and had been uh, mistreated. She had an eye injury. Huh. <clears throat> and when I first brought her home, she kicked me in the rear end. And, uh, and like I say, she uh, kicked Nikki in the head. And you know, you think about removing the horse, but you, I never wanted to quit. So I thought, well, I have anger issues, she has anger issues. Just take the journey together. So you did. And go calmly and quietly. And she really helped me do what I do today to realize that you can address your own personal issues. It's not just about the horse. And if you notice in that picture I'm riding here, there's no bit in her mouth. Just a halter. What's that? Today we'll try not to neglect the small horses. Yeah, you pray that. Uh, come up to it, you can then raise it. Hi there. This is um, Brand? No? This is Brandy. Yeah. Brandy. Brandy. This is Brandy. Hello, Brandy. I love you too. Sure, I do. Oh, yeah. Uh, you like that, don't you? Do they do that to each other? They will rub on each other, but they're testing you too. She likes people, but she also uh, she's testing boundaries. She wants to test boundaries. Ah, uh -huh. And some people it doesn't bother them, and it's it's nice initially, but as long as she doesn't get too rough. Yeah, yeah, and at some point it's good to just say whoa. Uh huh. And we'll do that if you choose her, and we're out there. That's starts and that's going to be part of the exercise for connection and how you well, your I guess she's chosen us. Yeah, Looks right. like. Hmm? Definitely right here, isn't she? Yeah. She's had very sensitive ears. Nate. Yeah, this little guy right here. Bless you, child. But he's getting better where we can spend more time touching his forehead and his eyes. Hello, Nate. Hi there, buddy. Yeah, well, he's licking, 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 yeah, that's what he's doing. Oh, yeah, I can touch your forehead, huh? He's allowing me to touch his forehead, I win. Yeah, I noticed that. Very good, Ron, very good. Ron, do you notice? He's letting Ron touch his forehead, which is great. You, tr you trust me, and, and, uh, Nate? You trust me. That's great. Wonderful. 
Now this is... Uh, this is Shasta. 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 Uh, tell us about Shasta, Wynn. Shasta is what's called a dark buckskin. Okay. She's the same age as Brandy. What's her history? Uh, her again? history is really a pretty good loving history. She, uh, um, and she and Brandy grew up in, in separate farms in South Dakota and then came together with uh, the previous owner from us um, seven years ago six years ago as yearlings and came together with these folks. She was a huge horse. Yeah, he is. I mean, he is. He is. Uh, yeah. Big old shadow. So, little Shasta and Brandy Green. Oh, this, yeah, this is shadow. Okay. Okay, this Shasta and that shadow, which is Florian's horse. Shasta and Brandy have just had one or two owners. So eventually, will we ride the shadow? To work toward that, yeah. Uh -huh. How about bear back? Oh, sure. No, I'm, I'm, I'm game. Cause I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> He's a comfortable ride, bear back. Is he? Nice white back. Uh, That's good. Yeah. Actually, I think they enjoy it better too. They like the cinch. They, they prefer not having a saddle on. I, I, I like not having the saddle because you really feel the horse. You can feel the muscles on the horse's back. Nate, Nate, Nate. It kind of reminds me of having this girdle. You feel neglected, Nate? Mm -hmm. Feel neglected? Huh? You feel neglected? Thank you. 